Hey guys, um, I know this is not going to be, you know, anything particularly original. Um, many of you have probably, you know, thought this, seen this, heard this, or whatever. Um, I am not on the news and normal news feeds um, and all that other kind of stuff, like, at all. Um, so I had just heard yesterday um, while I was doing a welcome call with one of our intercessors about the whole incident with George Floyd. And I am not one to like jump on conspiracy theories and I don't get into all this identity politics and all that other kind of stuff. And I will not jump into something until, you know, I have facts first. Um, and I will, you know, especially when it comes to this kind of stuff where law enforcement is involved and whatnot, you know, my husband was in law enforcement for 25 years. Um, and so um, I will say with that, um, on that note, you know, um, everybody absolutely loved my husband. My husband is an amazing and honorable man and such a... Um, a lover of people um, but you know there was there was definitely crap that goes on on police departments I will say that um, however in relation to this situation um, and oftentimes in the past we have seen situations where you know um, the media puts a twist on things right and they you know didn't show that you know the man pulled a gun or it just you know beat his, you know, wife to a pulp or, you know, whatever, all kinds of situations. They just show, you know, the end result. And I'm not trying to justify or make excuses or anything like that. I'm just saying that when stuff like this comes out, I hold off until I get um, the context of the situation. Not that anything really justifies someone losing their life, but there is such a thing that they call out there, you know, death by cop in the sense that there's people that are half cocked, they're on drugs, they're whatever, and they will purposely pull a weapon on police officers, you know, enforce the situation where they end up getting shot and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, a lot of times there's a history of suicide attempts and crazy stuff. So knowing that I typically hold off before I say something. Um, this situation, however, has me so bothered so pissed off. Um, I am trying to not take judgment in my own hands. I am trying to hold on to my religion, as they say, um, because there's that, there's that justice piece that I carry. I have a really strong justice bent. Um, always have, probably always will. Um, you know, as a kid, used to get in fights constantly, um, defending the underdog, never got in a fight, like, for myself, always defending. So I have a, I have a really strong justice bent. Um, and so watching the video yesterday, I don't give a rat's behind what transpired prior to this cop holding this man down, it does not matter simply because the fact of what I saw was this man was fully detained and no longer struggling. He was handcuffed, belly down on the freaking ground and yelling, well not yelling, I'm sorry, barely breathing, right? Pleading for his life that he couldn't breathe. This police officer who is trained in, you know, self-defense measures, trained in the um, ability to detain someone, knew that this person was no longer a threat. That the force that was being used was no longer necessary. I am so livid. I don't care. I'm so watching my words, you guys. I'm so trying to be careful with my words right now because 
I obviously want to respect and honor my audience as well. I don't care that he got fired. Who cares that these police officers got fired? I want the gosh darn trial to start because this was straight up, no questions asked, murder. This was murder. This was a lynching of sorts. Whether it was racially motivated or not, I don't care. I don't care if the man was black, if he was Oriental, if he was Hispanic, or he was another white man. What happened was straight up murder. Now, with that said, I am not going to detract from the fact that this was a black man. I don't get the racism thing. So I have been one of the people that have been like, no, this can't be racially motivated. You know, and I hear the black community with, you know, the Black Lives Matter and all this stuff. And I hear them and saying there's so much racism going on. And for people like me that don't have a grid for racism, I don't see it because I don't relate to it. So first of all, forgive me for not having that lens. Um, I don't ever want to have that lens. Um, but I don't also want to detract from my brothers and sisters that are going through hell. Um, and if that is the case, it is going to take every freaking white American to stand up and make a difference. To stand up and say, oh, hell no, not in my country, not on my watch not in my lifetime, this is gonna stop. If this is actually what's going on, that we have black Americans that are literally afraid of law enforcement because this kind of crap is going on, it's not the black Americans responsibility to stand up and try and change that. If it is rooted in racism, if it is rooted in any kind of white supremacist crap, it is our job to stand up. I will tell you that I have been one that's like, okay, so when there's a, a Muslim terrorist attack, the Muslims need to stand up and reject those people out of their religion, right? The, the peaceful, loving, wonderful Muslims need to go, oh, well, hell no, you're not Muslim. Get the hell out. I'm saying the same thing for white people. We need to stand up and look at whoever this is, whether it's law enforcement, whether it's whatever organization of white people and say, oh, hell no, you are not American. Oh, hell no, you don't embody what we stand for. And oh, hell no, you're not welcome in this country as far as I'm concerned. I don't know how to fix this problem other than every white American using their peer pressure and saying, uh-uh, this is not okay. And I will say the only thing I can think of um, that might change this within law enforcement is there needs to be, you know, special circumstances that if a law enforcement officer unduly causes the death of no matter who, what color the person is, they need to be like prosecuted worse because they're supposed to stand, have a standard that is far and above beyond any of us, right? Their law enforcement, they should be elevated to a much higher standard and bar than the rest of us. Therefore, in my opinion, they should be prosecuted at a higher standard. In my opinion, my opinion only, and you guys can disagree, you can say I'm half cocked, I don't really care. My opinion, those officers need to face the death penalty, period. I don't know what else would be worse. And I don't mean the death penalty in some cushy prison either. I'm pissed off. If this is what's going on in our country, it's your responsibility and it's my responsibility to put a stop to it. It's not the victim's responsibility to put a stop to it. It's just like this freaking Me Too movement People need to step in and stop the perpetrators. Don't make the victims have to put a stop to it and be victimized further. The black community should not be leading this. This needs to be led by the white community. We need to put a stop to this. I'm certainly hoping that there is something on the agenda at the 
federal government level that's going, okay, enough is a freaking enough. I totally believe in backing the blue. I totally believe in law enforcement and the good men and women that are called to be civil servants that have a heart for humanity and community in general. Totally back them. But those that shouldn't be, those that are tainted, those that have their own agendas, those that are power hungry, those that have polluted the system, they need to be dealt with and they need to be dealt with harshly. My opinion, I should probably get off my rant. Um, I'm just so infuriated, so, so infuriated. Um, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm partially infuriated at the white people for us not doing something already. And I'm one of them. I'm one of them because I didn't get it. I didn't have the lens to see it. I'm like, racism, what racism? I'm not racist against anybody. But you know what? There is crap out there. There's pollution out there. Um, I do have to remind myself that we do not fight against flesh and blood, that we fight against powers and rulers and in principalities of darkness. And they're the ones that are pulling the strings of the idiots that are being their puppets. So with that said, the prophetic and intercession community sure as hell better stand up in a greater stance to fight this where it needs to be fought. So we're not just constantly chasing around picking the fruit, but we actually cut off the head. We cut off the root of this tree that's producing racism in our country. It is long past time to stop it. America is supposed to be a city on a hill. America is supposed to be a light to the rest of the world. And I tell you what, where the hell's the light? Where's the light? Who's gonna stand up and start a movement? What white community is going to stand up and start a movement that protects our brothers and sisters? We have this huge movement that has to do with um, human trafficking and, and slavery as, you know, as far as trafficking goes. We need, we need a movement bigger than that. We need a movement bigger than that. I'll be taking this to our leadership and see what gets birthed from there. If you're going to birth a movement, reach out. Let's join arms because this has to stop. This has to stop. Love you guys.